Uh, Kevin, real quick, there's a report on Meta buying a bunch of graphics cards. Let's end on a positive note for tech here. Yeah, NVIDIA continues to move to the upside. It seems like every day they have some positive news. Now, Mark Zuckerberg, who's the CEO of Meta, actually did announce that they want to uh, try to acquire 350,000 H100 graphics cards from NVIDIA, which is a huge deal. That's a massive order, over billions of dollars here. And that actually has pushed not only NVIDIA to the upside, but Meta to the upside. Now, Mark Zuckerberg continues to know that they are trying to advance their AI research and even combining their fundamental AI research team with some of the other generative AI projects that they have within its product suite, continuing to double down on its Llama uh, uh, large language model as they are trying to actually roll out a Llama and that's actually open source. So that has been, for the most part, the primary go-to for a lot of corporations that are trying to uh, implement a large language model rather than using uh, chat GPT. So that's where they've been able to gain a little bit of uh, you know, traction within that marketplace here. And then also, not only that, but also trying to focus on the Ray-Ban uh, uh, smart glasses that they're coming out with. So overall, they are doubling down. They're expanding their CapEx spend here. That's going to be a tailwind for NVIDIA. And that's why we're continuing to see this stock uh, move to the upside here uh, in early hours of trading. All right. Uh, PayPal and Fortinet up next. Thanks, Kevin Green. Appreciate you.